Good morning, Kathy Inman. Well, <laughs> good morning, Joseph Dunn. How are you today? I'm very well. Excellent, excellent. Very well. So, Kathy, just to go back so that when we um, are, are showing this to people, everybody, everybody knows who you are. You are a direct descendant of an enslaved woman named Henriette Jean-Pierre and also of the owner of this plantation whose name was Flage du Parc. Which gives you a very interesting and a very complex family history. So can you take us back a little bit to how you began to discover this? What was your journey to figuring these things out? Well, we've always come to New Orleans, both my mother and father born here, and uh, visiting with my mother's only brother and his wife. Our cousins would, were always over Aunt Gwen's house, and she lives out in, uh, what was it, Kenner? Okay. Kenner. Mm -hmm. And we would come, and one of my cousins, who is Cornelius Dupart IV, had invited us four years ago to a family reunion. And we said, family reunion? He said, yeah, for the Dupart side. And he must have uh, informed us like in February, and we had the reunion in June. He had t-shirts, uh, he was gonna do the cooking, and it was gonna be at Aunt Gwen's house. So we were familiar with the area. We came out, we were talking and having a good time, and he mentioned that he became curious about the Laurel Plantation because he had met someone who told him that there was this Creole Plantation and he, and that it was named, the Duparts were a part of it. He didn't know how the connection came about. So he decided to start his own search. And he was telling us that, yes, it's the Laura Plantation. And I said, Laura Plantation? Never heard of it. My mom never spoke of it. But I said, but she did say that my grandfather, Cornelius Dupart Sr., was born in Vachery. She didn't say the plantation. She said Vachery. So that's where it all started. And I became more curious. And we try to make a trip out here because uh, I'm from California, about once a year. And uh, so we made a, a trip out. We came, but before coming, I called, and I was introduced to Sand over the phone, and she found out who I was, and she said, oh, great, you've got to come. I've got to meet you. And I said, I was a little, well, okay, but I still didn't know what the connection was. And when I remember walking into the visitor center, she saw me, she came up and she hugged me. And she said, your family, that meant a lot. And still not knowing what that meant, we went on the tour and it was fabulous. I was impressed, impressed first with knowing that it was a Creole plantation colorful the big house is. Beautiful. Because I've been to Washington, D.C. I used to take students to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. for 10 years. I was a school teacher. All the granite, white marble. And, uh, but to see that plantation, the color of the big house, it was just, yeah. For some reason, there was something inside that touched me. I could relate to the colors because those are some of my favorite colors. And I like the vibrance of it. It's alive. Mm -hmm. and, and there's something that, that touched me. So we went on the tour. It was a terribly hot day. And going through the little covered area that's out there close to the slave quarters, we sat down and I was just catching my breath and looking around as a school teacher were taught to read the walls. So I started reading the walls. I turned around. Wait a minute, Lucian. Mm -hmm. I have a cousin named Lucian. Cornelius Dupart Sr. I said, that's my grandfather. Th that's my grandfather. 
And then I caught myself because I was in a group of about 20. And I just, I had to calm myself. And everybody stopped and they looked at me. I said, that is my grandfather, Cornelius Dupart Sr. And here are his siblings. And my mother used to talk about Aunt Rosella all the time. I've been to Aunt Rosella's house in New Iberia. And then I got quiet. So I had my connection. <laughs>